Yo, 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 what's going on, you already know who it is, it's your boys, the Rise Podcast, Coach Squeeze, aka Smoothie King in the building, right back at ya, what another one, I got all assets in the building, senior carbs, I got the one, the only, Luther Vandross, Mr. Will in the building, and I got c Doug on the <laughs> What's going on out there in the boxing land before we get started? You know how we do it. We got to pay homage to the uh, uh, sponsors. Five-time world champ, four different weight classes. You already know he did his thing against Hector Garcia. We waiting for April 22nd. You can do it again. Baltimore Zone, first ballot, Hall of Famer, pound for pound. Let's Hottest boxer in boxing, whether they like it or not, Javante Tank Davis. Brought to you by KenichiBed.com. If you want to get his headphones, go on to www.KenichiBed.com. Use code TRP. You'll get 15% off. Don't forget, go on www.Nashlip.com. Mari's Art. Get your merch. You seen I had one of his file hoodies on yesterday. Rapping the day. Shout out to his dad, boxing dad, for looking out for the kids at the gym. Under Armour, thanks for all that you do. Rise Inc., thanks for the platform. And shout out to my boy, Smash, number four, Smash in the building. He on a six, seven fight win streak. He mm. hit me off with the merch tonight. Smash number four in the building. Yeah, my boy, AKA Noah, got the smash rapping. If you're watching, nephew, I got you. Uh, last but not least, boy, we got all type of gear, man. Last but not least, the official gear of boxing. Uh, we ain't going to ever see none. I'm just keeping it 100. But anyway, say it with me in the chat. We might have to uh, draw some pictures on our shirts. Box. What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? Everybody All right. What's, what's, up? All right. what's going on? Isaiah McCoy. Kenneth Parry, the Queen, Miss Mona, Tony Fan, Williams Jr., D. Wilson, Tommy Nettles, Nephew Timothy Stoudemire, Nephew <laughs> Joshua Furlong. Well, I can't put Nephew on there because I don't think he identified with he, her, she, and him. So um, we're just going to go with Joshua Furlong because I don't know if he want to be niece, nephew. I don't know if he used, what type of handle he used. So I just go with Josh. What's going on? Boss, uh, what's happening with you? Showtime. We ain't got nothing to do with all that. Kamani Clark. Man, stop Uncle E. The Wood. What's happening? Scout Scrub Toy. What's going on? I heard of. Hey, baby. Um, Fugusta El Nia. What's going on? Terry. Motion Sports. Kirk Jones. Clayton Silks Wright. Stretch the G. Isaiah Offit. What's going on? Platinum Alkaline Water. Where you been at, Slim? Hey, hey Platinum. Hey, Everybody man. looking for plat. Hey, Big Ray, what's going on, Big Ray? All Trump fun Trump. video, North and Green Mountain in the building. North and Green Mountain. What's happening? What's going on? How everybody doing tonight? Yo, North, right, Green, how y'all? North and Green Mountain be supporting, yo. Damn, man. North and Green Mountain. I heard, that's unheard of. Unheard of? Mm-hmm. I'm not his team. I look like my mother. Mm-hmm. You look like your father. I look like my mother. Smooth criminal, what's going on? You look like your father. If I if you showed him a picture, my man, smooth criminal. I was like my Javante Shorts by that one. What's that one? What's going on? What's going on, family? Hi, everybody. Doing? Make sure y'all hit that like button on your way in, man. Y'all been doing us dirty on them likes, man. I know what I might do this time. I know what I might do. I might Let's do get it. them likes up, y'all. Walter Lee, Jesse Senior, all the way from Kuwait City. Kuwait. Kuwait. Justin Cooper, how you doing? 
What it do? What hey, up, Will? Man? Hey, Mr. Will. Hmm. Is BLK legit? You know how I feel about you. You look. I, I, look, I got, I got to get some flashcards made. That was a suggestion. I'm going to do it. So when uh, you ask me stuff like that, I'm going to just hold up the card because you don't want to hear my answer. <laughs> what you think, Squeeze? They legit? Uh, They more legit than uh, BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Hell no, they shit. That turkey, bacon, lettuce, tomatoes ain't nothing like it on wheat. Hmm. Ain't nothing Man. like it. Hmm. Well, you know, hey, Mr. Will, hey, oh, you don't even eat turkey bacon, do you? No, no, he don't, he don't eat no meat at all. Hey, ain't nothing like that. Ain't nothing like that turkey bacon BLT, man. Yo, I'm a Lord Tank like, Gang. What's up, Lord Tank Gang in the building? Maurice Jones, Jenny Jones, Four Corners yeah. Boxing, G Boxing. What's happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa. what's going on, family? Coach Squeeze. Yes, but I don't lie to you on no Tuesday. <laughs> don't lie to me on no Tuesday. All right, so you know how summer coming back up, right, right? And last year, he kept putting me in summer camp. And, you know, I'm older now, so I'm too old to be in summer camp. So I said that during the summer, since I'm not going to have nothing to do, I might come back to the gym. I don't know. I got to <laughs> See, stop <laughs> Even, you probably not going to be out there working out. Please. Don't, don't, don't be okay, promise. <laughs> What's that mean? Mm, yeah, that's the good one, Squeak. That's the new one. <laughs> don't be okay, promise. I'm be... not. You, Coach Squeeze, he need to be in there with me. Well, I'm, I I need you in there so you can get back right. <laughs> right. Hey. She a year older now, I heard you of. Was, oh. you, was, you, was, you was on your way. You right now on a real trip. Right now, you probably could have had like you probably could have had like uh a good three fights and uh all knockouts because you like to bang. Um and I could have been like get your defense right, your timing. You gonna have to revisit all that when you come. So washed up, sweet. No, be ready when you come. Be she ready. Ain't coming. I am. I am. I right, am. Can I go to work? No, the only listen. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The only reason I stopped coming was because of him. I'm okay. telling you, because of him. Because that's when he started working, and um, my time is since it was later, I couldn't stay, so it was his fault. Well, he got to, you know, your dad got to pay the bills, got to have lights, got to have food in your stomach. Right, so that's what I'm saying. It was his fault, not mine. Oh, I'm trying to go back to work. Can I go to work? Well, you need to tell the truth. Yeah, so let's get back to it. Platinum, man, listen. Platinum out. They looking Yo. for you. Yo, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start calling him Vanilla Ice, man. He one hit wonder, man. He come to bring us that scratch, and then we don't see him no more. Damn, yo, Vanilla iced him. Yeah, man. He come to be with the ice, ice baby. Then we don't see him no more, man. Yeah, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. BLK, man. Prime look like they looking like BLK wasting our time. <laughs> That's the new one. Smoothie King. Right back at the with another one. Oh, you got another vegan, brother. Yeah. Solomon Walker. Thanks yeah. for the five piece meat nugget. Yeah, thanks, bro. I don't eat meat either, Mr. Will. Unfortunately, be okay not to move. When are y'all going to give me that blue wrench? LOL. Huh. Sure. Hashtag support from Cali. Yeah, we appreciate. Yo, much love, man, from Cali. Going back to Cali. 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 He's going back to Cali. I don't think so. All right, y'all. Let me bring him in. Um, you can you can uh go over to his his podcast, check him out. He been getting some exclusive videos. We're gonna we gonna have to uh tap in. To his source, he just did. Um, you tapping the, the outsource. All his exclusive videos come from Algen. 
Clarissa Shields. He just did a hot interview with Clarissa Shields. And uh, I wouldn't have made it do that video uh, interview, <laughs> by the way. Um, <laughs> and he did my boy, Sean Porter, which I was, that was dope. That was dope. I was upset how he got them before we did. But that's mm. all in the past. Y'all coming to you. One of the heavy weights in the comedy are all the way from Al Jim. <laughs> the one, the only, the infamous hardcore boxing in the building. You, you, you. What's happening there, family? What's, What's going, going on, on there? Man? How you feel? Man, I'm just keeping life simple. That's all. That's all. Well, That's I'm simple. great. I'm great hand you the mic because I don't think my brothers, they don't really want to touch it. But I'm going to throw this at you since you came through the door. You said it before. You never let the mic magnetize you no more. Um, <laughs> BLK Prime. Are they legit or what? Where you stand at with that hardcore? Man, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it gangster, man. I still think it's about 50-50. I ain't sure about them yet. You know, uh, I'm hearing a lot, a, a lot of different things going here and there. I heard that uh, Crawford didn't get all that money, huh. and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give it like I got it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I felt though they dropped the ball with Broner, man. I mean, you had three different opponents, man, and uh, they couldn't get it closed. I know they said, well, you know, one cat got his mouth broken, and then you got uh, you had Hank Lundy with the uh, 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 with the uh, California Commission and everything. But I just felt though that they should have did their homework a little bit deeper, so those those first two things shouldn't have happened. So. Uh, I feel though that they made some rookie mistakes. Yeah. Um, so how many more chances do you think they deserve or are going to get? Before you answer that, let me get this uh chat out the way. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Josh refer along. What's going on, nephew? Thanks for the support. Thanks for the five piece McNugget. You know I'm nephew on stop playing. LOL. Salute rise. Family love all y'all. GTD for life. It's camp time. Love you back, brother. Love you back. Love you back, brother. Be, be safe where you at. So what you think about that uh 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 hardcore? Man, you know what, man? I believe in second and third chances. So uh I say that they should get some more chances, uh, see if they can actually uh, solidify something and bring something uh, to the forefront. Maybe uh, they can be the the, the, the next uh, big promotional company. We don't know, but uh, give them another chance. Hey, Mr. Will, uh, you already said how you feel about it, but what are some of the things you think from a business standpoint of view that need to be shown to the public transparency wise to um turn us into believers well they had one show it, it, and uh it's been a little gap now since that show if they were really they should have hit the ground running we should have mm. seen another, another, another uh, promotion by now, just to get their name out there. Let them let everybody know they're serious. Every every opportunity lately they had to do so, they dropped the ball. Mm. And I told y'all the first night we saw them, the next day we were talking about them. And me personally, again, y'all say I don't like nobody, so I ain't gonna say nothing. You know, and I mean, <laughs> look, hey, I don't. Hey, Hell, you know what I mean. Hey, hey Mr. Will. Uh did you put did you complete high school? Of course. Huh? Of course. Just follow me with this. Um when you say uh, if I say the man went up the street 
to fetch a gallon of water. Listen to what I said. The man. Mm -hmm. Is that singular or plural? <laughs> Can I call a lifeline? No. <laughs> <Damn>. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's thank, you, thank you, young man. That's uh, a burn razor? Now, when you say y'all, what that is, young man? That's plural. Meaning? More than one. My man, my man, I was going we getting somewhere, baby. Oh, yeah. um, now, go ahead. You go know, ahead. I didn't say. You don't like nobody. No, but I know I was hard on him. I was saying that. So I was in my feelings when you. No, 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 no. You uh -oh. the bro. No, what, no what, I, what I was saying, though, and um, because I know I can be kind of critical sometimes. But remember that know. conversation? And I said um that their promotion or their production was real low budget that night. That's what I was saying. So, again. That's me throwing hate darts to some people, but I'm just saying that's how I felt. It was a real low budget production. I didn't want to say it, but you dragged it out of me. I was trying to let it go. I was trying not to go there. Now here come the hate stuff again. They get me, get, get me attack me. They go, Mr. Will again. Watch, but uh, there no. you go with yeah. the day. <laughs> no, no, I ain't talking about y'all. What's up, Smash? Who that? Man. No ash, no ash. What's up, baby? Board. Representing, got you, nephew. Smash seven fight oh, wish. Think we gonna bring him on the show? I ain't got that one. You don't yeah. got this one. Got got no on the back. Yeah, I got another one. Yeah, thanks, nephew. Um, no, I I'm just saying, I wouldn't buy into what the people saying. On, on some hate tip, it's just what it is. It's right in, but you know, front our eyes, like you said, and um, you got to run together a couple shows. Yeah, you gave man. us one show yeah. on the come out. You know what I mean? But man, I got like I all go cool boxing said, we got to give them a uh, 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 biggie, biggie. Give me one more chance, biggie, biggie. Give me one more chance. Yeah. So we got to give them another opportunity, you know, so once, twice, three times a lady. Now, we going to give them one more time. Shame on you. How the saying go? Help me out with one of them. You fooled you fool me once. Shame on me. Let me say, you fooled me uh, once. Shame on you. If you fool me twice, shame on me. That's what it is. There you go. So we at that point with them guys. Well, okay, we, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Like, you know, when you do things the right way and when you do things the wrong way, you got to deal with what the path that's laid out for you. The BLK come in the game the right way. Um Explain that thing. What you mean by that they came in the game the right way? Oh, um, uh, uh, Coach Squeeze was answering it before you rudely interrupted. Now, I was asking you because you asked the question. I know, but he was already hey, coming hey, to the answer. I just wanted to hear what you think. Did you understand the question, Squeeze? Say that again. Y'all was rebuttaling the Lord. <laughs> Say that again, champ. The BLK, a lot of people feel that BLK got in the middle of the turns, turns Crawford, Earl Spence. That ain't what you asked me at first time. I know, I know. No, no, I'm explaining. I'm also explaining to Mr. Will. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is the BLK come in the game the right way. That's what you asked me, Chan? That's what I'm asking you. All right. Um, that's a good damn question. Um, they came in for real to me when I look back in the dust clear. They came in with backdoor height. They didn't come in strong enough for me. Um convincing enough for me. Um that I could said, could have said, I think they gonna 
make out. Now, I did say you got to give them, going back on the record, you got to give them the opportunity. It's a new network. Coach Calvin even touched bases on it. We got to give them a chance. We got to see. Um, right I mean, now, uh, it's really – Adrian, Adrian, Bro Adrian Brown gave him three chances. It's early in the game. Um, hmm. I'm just going to keep it 100. 50 cent Floyd talked to 50. Mm -hmm. Just for example, Floyd told him it's a lot of money involved. You're gonna lose a lot of money with this. Mm -hmm. This 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 ain't no this a gold digging sport. You you willing to lose this type of money? So I'ma keep my fingers crossed, man. I, I'm a I'ma stay positive and I'ma hope that they resurrect. What they didn't get started, but to get it started. Um, let's go over the hardcore boxing news and let's ask that brother um what he think about what senior just asked me. Uh I'm I guess I'm gonna be uh kind of biased on this one because I, <laughs> I I do feel though that they uh came in between something that could have been great. And what I'm talking about is uh Spence versus Crawford a fight that I truly want to see. And being as though that, you know, they came in between that greatness, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a little perturbed about that, to be mm -hmm. truly honest. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, that's something we all been waiting on for quite a while. And uh, personally, if we don't get it this year, I don't think we're going to ever get it. So mm. uh, I think they came in between, in between of that, you know. They the, gave him uh, out. The backdoor dealings. They gave him out. Now, granted, BLK was already coming up on the scene because they had they had um signed um Brian Norman. I think that was their first one. That, that, that Brian Norman was first, right, Jay? Yeah. You know what I mean? Then they was coming through the through the gate, but their first fight card was the one Bud was on. Correct. Yep. You're correct. So like you really, you really, you really like gotten away of some things, and I'm confused. You lost, you lost, away to what you lost, you lost a lot of money. Well, it seems as if you lost a lot of money because I don't know whether they did or whether they really didn't. But it don't oh, they like did. Made a lot of money on don't that. Didn't a lot of money on that card. They did. Don't sugarcoat it. Yeah. So like, I think they should. have, You know what I mean? Once they got Brian Norman, give him some action. You see what I'm saying? Stay out of stay out of Bud and Terrence Crawford because you 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 watering you watering it down too much when you when you did that because you stepped on it. You know what I mean? It was already pure. You stepped on it. So you know what I mean? I just think you know what I mean. You reap what you sow. Not that I want to see him go under, but you know what I mean. You got you got yourself involved in some grown folk business. Well, Mister Will. Mm -hmm. Can we compare this to when you opening your first business in the wrong neighborhood? Oh, you could. Get all the right, definitely. huh? I say you definitely could. When you get all all the uh, support that you need to open it, everybody's backing you. The lights are on. They're shining. Your name out there. You you look good opening the uh uh propaganda of you opening looks great, but then the sales not coming in. Could they put you down the street from a business that's been established already? And it's hard for you to break through the cracks. Go ahead, Mr. Will. I was just gonna say to piggyback that their situation is they can't get nobody to work for them, evidently. Mm. 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 Well, they, so, they, got bug, they got bug to work for them. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you you one know what? One you, night. Go, go ahead, Mr. Go, Mr. Go, go ahead, man. No, I'm just saying one night. No, just, just, just go ahead because this dude, man. Hey, Mr. I, Will. I, hey, Mr. Will, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, Mr. Will. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want you to be biased at all, right? Mm hmm. I'm gonna ask you and Jay this. I don't want y'all to be biased or nothing. I just want y'all to stick to the facts. But Mr. 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 Will, you like you you a Bud fan also, oh, right? Oh. 
course. And Mr. J, J, your Bud fan also, correct? I'm a Spence fan. I like the way you said that. You said that with the bass and everything. Oh, like oh you can really get the hell up off of him. <laughs> hey, on, hey, hey. Beezy, you don't want no more, do you? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you I ain't bud, I, motherfucker. I'm going to get the ring right out with her. Hey, I ain't no motherfucking bud now. Hey, 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 um, hey Mr. Will. Yeah, man. Okay, as a, as a, as a bud fan, right? Now, this is not even me. Being funny, this is me being dead serious as a Bud fan, right? Um, okay, you got let down, you didn't get the Spence fight. Um, you had to, you had to, you had to somehow put up with a David, I'm sneezing fight, right? right. As, a, as a fan, honestly, exactly. That's a, as, a, as, as a fan, honestly, how do you feel knowing that Earl is still willing to spin the block? And you go for date? I mean, not David. At Alexis Rocha. How does that? I mean, like, come on, like, I mean, at some point, at some point, you got to look in the coffee pot. And say, man, listen, listen. I mean, when, when, when is enough enough? Because you know, what I mean, we, we you, you dealing with all this, all this, um, all this ridicule, all this, uh, the word I'm looking for, I can't get. You, you, you dealing with a lot of people with their eyes on you and they mouth in your business. <laughs> And everybody's saying, asking the same question: Is he is he scared of Earl? Right. I thought he was a fighter. Why why is he going every which way but the Earl? Man, hurry up and get to you. Oh, 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 oh! Put some respect God on my name. You know what I mean? Everybody, okay, everybody man, putting some. Speak. Everybody trying to figure out the question now. Um, I'm gonna also do this. Shout out to B BFTB because I, I I glanced in for like five minutes, right? And he played a clip of of Bud. Earl Spence and Bob Earl. And I believe it was eight times one of Earl Spence homeboys asked Bob, when you gonna let them get in the ring? Mm -hmm. When you gonna let them get in the ring? Mm -hmm. Bud tried to punk Earl, but Earl ended up punking Bud in front of Bob Earl and they asked him, what, what's, what's, what's up? When we gonna, when, when they gonna fight? Earl trying to fight. It don't seem like Bud want that smoke. Bud seen oh, something. Send me the link. I, 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 I'm talking. Send me the link. What's, when we have the Rise podcast, not the senior show. Hey, hey, Send hey, me the link, yo. Hey, I ain't Mr. get Will. the fucking memo, but go hey, ahead. Mr. Will. Oh, nine times. I apologize. Life is good. Appreciate you. Um, but my question is, is Earl, I mean, is Buzz scared of Earl? Oh, this motherfucker went down the street, round the corner, back up. He wanted to know was the lights yo, on the block. Yo, hey, That's hey, all you had the eggs in the hey, first goddamn place, hey, man. Yo. Hey, yo. That's all you had the eggs up front, yo. Yeah, I, I, hey, listen. I'm asking. I'm asking how I want eggs. Go ahead, Mr. Will. Smoothie King, right back at you. With another one, Kato Nader. Thanks for the two-piece, McNugget. I keep saying Bud is moving like he's a prospect. Y'all don't mean, listen to saying your man. I'm, I'm saying Bud scared of Earl. I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not even being funny no more because it's starting Let's to get around down the board, right. Mr. Will. Bud scared of Bud. Let's Look, go around the board. It's like this, y'all, straight up. From day one. I was a Bud fan when I first saw him. The first fight, really, I ever saw a Bud fight was when he fought, uh, man, what is that guy's name? Got him. Like, his my, his name uh, slips. And he uh, he knocked out a Medcon years ago. He was Cal the first Brooke. one. Cal no, 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 this guy stopped uh, a Medcon at, uh, I think they were 140 at the time. I can, I, it'll Pistol. come to you. Say it again. Pistol. No, no, no. Uh, uh. This is a. Uh, this guy is a dark complected guy. You know, black guy. But he's from. Uh, I think he was Colombian. I can. I wish my son was here. He's at work. He he, he knows it. Pre great, greatest press guy. Greatest press yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, first, yeah, 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 yeah. Greatest press guy's the first guy to knock out uh Amir Khan, and uh that was the first person I saw Bud fight, and Bud handled him easily. And um, that's when I said, okay, yeah, this kid can box. I saw a lot of boxing skill with him. Then a little after that, maybe let's say a year and a half later, he hooks up with, uh, what's his name, Bob Arm. <clears throat> and when he did that, I said, that's a bad move then. I said, because um, 
he's hooking up with a guy that everybody else is getting away from or got away from years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying it's sort of like when Michael Jackson hooked up with Teddy Riley when nobody else was dealing with Teddy Riley on the production tip. It was the same principle. So um, it, I knew then Bud didn't have good business sense. And that's where Bud's main problem, it's not his problem in the ring. His problems are out of the ring. He's just not a good businessman. I'm going to say that about him. That's my knock on him. I don't know who's advising him, but if, if, if they are giving him if any advice or if he's listening to anybody, he needs to get away from him. Damn. I'm serious, man. I, I, I don't like the way he moves. He's making himself look bad. Now, every, like you said, he's every on top, most people's eyes, he's looking scared. I know that's not the case. I would like to think that's not the case nah, for sure. I don't think that's the case. Man. Me either. I really don't want to believe I, I, that. I don't think that that's the but case. But the business moves he makes is look is looking that way to a lot of people. And I've well, got to understand it. Why you think Floyd took a bag with $750,000 in cold cash? Mm -hmm. You could put your nose in it mm -hmm. and brought his contract out with Bob Earn. Why do you think he did that? Hardcore? Well, he did it because he felt though that uh, he wasn't getting the just due or the promotions that he uh, thought he should get. And as soon as he uh, paid that 750 he blew up. He got that back 10 times, to be truthfully honest. Now, me personally, I don't think Bud is scared. But like Mr. Will said, I feel though that this brother has made some terrible business decision thus far. But I won't say he's scared. I, I can't see him being a scared man. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Let's yeah. ask Senior, because he the one said it. You think he's scared, Senior? This is what I'm going to say, right? Something up. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, 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 no. Oh, that's your answer. That's your answer. I ain't interrupt you, yo. Stop interrupting me and put some respect. I ain't me. interrupt I nobody. Do that, I, ain't do that, I ain't do all that shit to you. Did that's I interrupt it. anybody? Yeah, you come, you come straight in and interrupt me. So now, no, I would have said, excuse me, I hate to interrupt you, right? Like all you right, do. So, so let, me okay. back, let me get back yeah, to what and, and, and watch okay. your manners too. Go ahead. So my thing is, my thing is, Jay, right? Mm hmm. Earl, I mean, Bud at first was woofing, woofing to Earl Spence. I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to whoop you. Am I correct? Correct. Earl punishing dudes, taking eyes, breaking red. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, Bud said, I never want to lose in front of my kids, and now he don't want to fight Earl. You tell me what it, what it is. You tell me what it is, Mr. I'm telling you. In my mind, what I see, I see Earl hurting Bud. I that that's just what I like. That's just what I see. I see Bud right now trying to run from it, but you know what I mean. I don't, and and honestly, I don't think we're gonna get that fight. Damn, I hope that ain't true. Fighters want fight. One thing, one thing I say: fighters want fight. True fighters, they want fight. They don't give a fuck who you is, how big you is, how little you is. They don't. They want to fight. Bud don't want to fight Earl at all, and we and we seen it. It's no way. How can I put this? How can I put this? It's no way we and it's no way we should get. We should. It's no way we should have had David. I'm sneezing. It's no way Alexis Rocha should be the talk of what's going on next. I hope we don't get the same thing that we got back in the day when I Riddick both threw that build in the trash can when they they wanted him to fight. Uh, what was it, Lennox Lewis? That was Lennox Lewis. Yeah, right. yeah. I don't got to. I don't got to see an Earl versus Bud. I, I hope that don't happen, man, because. Uh, <laughs> that if we don't get this fight, you know, what I mean? we got two guys. That are in their prime, man. That have been whipping ass for a while. They, they, one got three belts, the other one got one belt, and we can get undisputed in the welterweight division. 
something we haven't had since uh shoot what was that uh uh who did the last the last person that did it was a Zab was Zab the last one that did 147 undisputed or did he I'm not it? sure uh, Marcus Thomas he over there man, upset he said Bud with trash arrow well Marcus Thomas this what you do you tell Bud to prove it because I ain't Ooh. gonna you just tell Bud to prove it then one thing you not gonna do is disrespect my Bud Crawford fan. Man, just tell him to prove it. That's one damn thing. It's not even about when you talk that when you talk that Bud with Trash Earl, tell Bud to prove it. You talking that Earl going Bud Trash Bud? trying to prove it, but Bud won't get in the ring. You we already know what's trying to prove it, but Bud won't get in the ring. Come on, man. Thomas know what's up. He know box. Yeah, yeah. That's why he mad because he know Bud ain't trying to get in that ring. He mad. He mad. Every Bud fan mad right now. He mad. Come on, man. And if he not mad, he got a bigger problem because he should be mad. Oh, you and John boy need his fucking pair of uh, pom poms the way y'all be cheerleading about Earl because he want to fight. <laughs> what you mean? Y'all be cheating. My uncle John Boy name too. I yo. know y'all ain't talking about nobody fanboying. Come on, yo. The way y'all be biting um Earl cheese. <laughs> Earl trying to get in the ring, bud, ain't yo? What's up, right, man? The my, like Mr. Will say, he never been a great businessman. Ooh, life is good. I like that one. Life is good. Yeah, I bet you it's something against Bud. Ooh, life is good. Mr. All Access, right back at you. He can't tell him to prove it because Bud's so-called fans don't even buy his fights. They wait for YouTube to tell it or watch the highlights. Come on, man. Come Earl on. fans do too. Come on, so man. So what's your point? Earl fans do what? They wait till they come on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Hey, Squeeze, I thought you said you got your life together. You I don't you know, you you wasn't even born when I had my life together. So I'm not even going to have this. You don't see EJ numbers? I'm not even going to have this conversation. You don't see EJ numbers? Hey, Jay. I don't even this conversation. You wouldn't even over there selling out the Dallas Stadium. You wouldn't even born. Bug can't even sell out the rec center at home, man. Come on, man. He was in Ohio. He can sell out, man. One thing about these kids. What's up, B.F.? Shout out to you and what you did last night, man. Their, Appreciate that, BF. Their genetics, when they now the kids grow a whole bunch of facial hair and shit, right. and they you think they grown. Everything the bug getting in the ring. They, they think they they think they grown because they got a full beard and <laughs> sideburns and shit. Hey, hey Jay, you but, people, know, you people. That's how you could tell he a bug man. He doing the same thing bud doing. Going everywhere but where he's supposed to be in the ring with Earl. They got facial hair. What the fuck facial got hair got to do with Bud and Earl fighting? Come on, man. He's right. He spinning around the block just like his man Bud I, is, man. Come watch on, your man. mouth. Lower Come your on, tone. Man. I don't man, like I your tone. I said what I said. I stand on it. I don't Lord like Earl your tone. Stand on it. I'm standing on it. Earl I really don't, don't like your tone. Your, on, your tone is tad bit too loud. That's number one. They're going to say then, then, then somebody going to say they Ooh, hate think you they talking hate to you talking Creed three. Man, two, you, there, man. you know, on, man. I don't like you throwing a hissy fit. I don't like your attitude. This stinks yeah. right now. No, no, but you know, uh, Bud don't you want no already know when Bud tax that ass, you're not gonna show your face on the rise podcast. You're gonna be on a long journey. You already got the trip planned. I, since I'm no, ain't nobody, ain't nobody time you out, Marcus Thomas. No, I don't time Marcus Thomas out. He good. Let him have his opinion. Ain't, what? Nobody, ain't nobody time him out. Well, I'm about to shut this motherfucker down. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to shut this whole bitch down. Yeah, this show about to end. Don't leave my bud fans alone. We we holding out on we manning up with y'all saying now y'all crying. That's what Earl do. No, that's no, no, that's why you just heard me say what I say. I said no, don't block. That's, that's don't what block that's, that's, that's that sound like Earl fans, little cry babies. Whoa, 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 slow yeah, down. That's that slow whoa, down, whoa, my ass. That sound like them. you see him crying. Drizzy Dro, how's both they fought? Drizzy Dro, come on, man. Thank you, Drizzy Dro. <laughs> I I tell you, but I'm gonna tell you one thing about them bud tenders, boy, boy. They stay behind that guy, man, a hundred thousand percent. 
Don't you but, stay uh, behind your guy? I don't, don't know guy. how they do it. I don't know how they do it. Don't you stay behind your guy? No, I stand beside him. Huh? I stand beside him. Okay, well, you and him ain't boys. Nah, I just don't get behind the man. No, nah, we all you on some gay shit. Ain't nobody <laughs> that's no. nowhere near. I you just said I stand you beside him. You just took that. I don't no, know. No, you, you took it about. there. You yep. took it there. I said I stand beside him. AJ. Hey, now where you want to take it? That's on you, homie. <laughs> Hey, Jay, yeah. you know how you, you ready to go that's fight? That's some gay ass shit. You ready to go fight man. with your nah, man? That's you how you feel in your mind. You need to come on out of that gutter stuff there, bro. Slow it yeah, down. Whatever. Ain't nobody said nothing about homosexuality but, whatever. but you. But you the oh, one oh, talking. Oh, oh. Smoothie so, King. Only thing I'm on the smoothie side. King. Hey, you got a smoke. You got, you got something let, right there. Let me, only thing on the, the side King. is somebody woman. You, your woman be on your side. That's number one. Smoothie King, right back at crazy. you. Well, yeah, another one. Well, there yeah. My lady, when we walk, she on my side. Um, For the record, Solomon Walker, thanks for the five-piece McNugget. I keep I my water behind this me. girl in tank fights with zero hesitation. Mm. Nothing mm -hmm. against Bud. I think he's great, in my opinion. Bud cannot beat Earl. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Mm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's one person out of a million. And guess what? Guess what? We never gonna get an answer to that because we never gonna get that fight. Yeah, I mean, he ain't a he ain't a good businessman. He hooked up with the wrong people. That's why I try to tell you, Floyd brought himself out of that contract. Cold hard cash. It was in a bag. All right, time's out. Real quick, real quick. Hey, Mister Will. Mister hmm. Will. You um, on time out, adults, yo. Look, it's already did. Hey, no, Will, yo, you rude as shit, yo. Yo, you at the next my show. Days. My days. The next show gonna be how these young motherfuckers need to pay respects to adults. That's the next title of this motherfucking show. What you oh, think, oh. Mr. Will? Oh, oh, we that, I don't like his, number one. Number one I don't mom. like his tone. Number one, you know, he's very disrespectful. But mm -hmm. Mr. Will, go ahead and answer this little question. He movie got. King. Go ahead, Smoothie King. Get that one out of the way. Because they know they scared a uh, uh, bud. Smoothie King, right back at you. Death, smooth. Thanks for the five piece, McNugget. When fights like Buddy and Earl not getting made, we got to appreciate matches like Tank and Ryan. We got to hope Ryan show up. The lightweight's going to bring it back. We got Hope Ryan show up. We got Hope Ryan show up. Smoothie King, right back at you. With another one, Solomon Walker. Thanks for the two peeps, McNugget. Also, Earl stops him. You entitled to your own opinion, champ. <laughs> Don't nobody block him out. No Bud fans. Leave him alone. Let him, let him speak his piece. Leave him alone. We see him fight night, Mr. Will. How about that? That's it. Bottom line. Bottom line. All right, y'all. What y'all think about Tony Harrison versus Tim Zhu? How important this is to Tony Harrison? Damn, I heard crickets. <laughs> well, I tell you, I jump out there, man. Uh I, I think it's a very important uh, fight for uh, Tony Harrison. Uh, me personally, I feel though he wins this fight, to be actual. I feel though that uh, he got better uh, technique. He's smarter. And I feel though that he'll be able to uh, win this particular fight probably by a split decision. What you think Tim Zhu need to do to win? What's the tale of the tape for him to pull a victory out? Let's see if he could turn the tables. He got to make it ugly. He got to make it ugly. He got to jump on Harrison. He don't. He he got to make sure that Harrison can't think at any point. He just got to just bombard him with punches, rough him up, so that way he's not able to think and make decisions while he's in that ring. If he can just stay on him like that, he got he got a good chance. You know, Mister Will. Well, I agree. The only thing I see is uh. Tim Zhu can't afford to make any mistakes, even though uh, Harrison's not a big puncher. Mm -mm. So we don't have to worry about uh, 
Zoo get knocked out. Between the two, I think Zoo has the bigger punch. But um, I'm not real sure about him being able to really keep up with Harrison as far as uh, Harrison's movement because Harrison is constantly on the move. You know, he's not a guy that's going to stay in the pocket long. He's going to get his shots in and he's gone. Slick, what's up, Slick? So, uh, Tim Zoo is going to definitely have to be able to cut that ring off that night and try to, you know, keep him on the ropes or something. But I don't see that happening. What you think, C? My question is, my first initial question will be, what what Tony Harrison is coming to the ring? Mm. You know what I mean? Tony, Tony, Tony got to be serious. He can't be in there playing. For now, what's going on? For now, Smoothie King, go ahead and get that right out of the way real quick. All right, Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. For now, International Boxing Channel. Thanks for the ten piece McNugget. Shout out to the Rise. Appreciate you. Now, sure. my, question, my my thing is, is first and foremost, what Tony coming to the ring? Because you know I mean, when he in there playing. And you know what I mean? Not 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 on his not on his tip. Then I think Tim Zoo can get that fight. But if he if he come in there, serves, not playing, working on that jab, I think he get him. What about you, Squeeze? Um, I think he need to stick and move, box, be smart. But uh, I wouldn't sleep on Tim Zoo. He coming to win. That's one thing I know for sure. He coming to win. He going to have to apply that smart pressure. Oh, hey, Marcus uh, Thomas. Watch your mouth, Marcus Thomas. <laughs> oh, that's fine, man. Damn. They went hard. They be going hard. You you can't pay that stuff no mind, man. People going. You know, we don't go for that over here. So yeah, people going to say. People gonna say what they want out their mouth. You know what I mean? They they internet gangsters. You don't worry about that, champ. Yeah, well, you nip that shit in the bud early. You yeah, well, that. you let them say what they wanna. You know what I mean? Um, playing, playing here, that's what I did. We we got the uh, we got the gym down there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? These these YouTube gangsters. They like Earl Spence fans. They YouTube guys. They hide behind. They hide behind. They just internet. Just to start that back up. I try to leave you alone. They hide behind the internet. I try to leave you alone with your man. They hide behind the keyboard. I try to leave you alone with your man, but listen. They they, 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 they keyboard gangsters. So who your man hiding behind? They keyboard gangsters. So who your man they're, hiding behind? They're a businessman. Cause Earl standing at his front door, and I didn't watch Bud jump out the back window, come from out the cellar door, and all that. He won't come out that front door and see Earl. Earl peeking out the damn window, man. Mm -hmm. Earl, Earl peeking in the window. Earl, Earl peeking in the window, like Chris. Earl, Chris Earl want to step outside and get bit. He don't want to step outside and get bit. You know the pit bulls on the block. You know what I mean? Not Yo. no Yorkies. He know Yo. the pit bulls on the block. Hey, yo, let me let you know something, yo. If they pit bulls, I'm walking straight down the block, petting all them on their head because I know they ain't about biting shit. Mm. I yeah, know all them, they, all them, all them need to go in the back alley and get smoked. That's, that's what the last was saying. Got oh, shit man. bit out of them. You talking about you? That's please, what the last was saying. Please don't do this, yo. Now, AJ, hey, hey, please, please, hey, Uncle, hey, hey, Mister, well, please change the subject because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to hurt that little boy feelings. <laughs> uh, hey, Mr. Will, I don't want to hurt that boy feelings, Mr. Will. <clears throat> you talking about me, chat? Hey, hey, Mr. Will. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Will. I'm listening. You know the one thing I can say? I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna do it. Let's talk about you, something. Man. You Let's said boy. boy. Thank you. Thank you for joining the Rise Podcast. Sorry for the hostility. You know how I get number we, one. We, boy. We is a racist white man name. Now, I'm gonna let you slide the first one. The second one, you getting touched up because you know I know where you work. You know what I mean? The second <laughs> one, I got to put my hands on you violently. I'll be, be, be your huckleberry. Yeah, mm -hmm. Viol you be Earl Spence. I'll be, be your huckleberry. 
I'll be, I'll be a huckleberry. Yo, Mr. Will, put your money down, tight ass. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh, bad dog, Mr. Will. Hey, Jay, I know, I know. If I would be Earl, he going to be Bud. I ain't even got nothing to worry about. He going to go pick on a fifth grader. Uh, <laughs> mm. Level eight. Uh, level you know, eight. you know, Earl going to go fight the teacher because that's the only one he can beat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, bug gonna fight the student. <laughs> well, ain't no but you can't put your hand on the school teacher. You know you out of order, man. Come <laughs> on, man. Pick on somebody your own side. <laughs> man, I swear I hope this fight gets made. It's Me been, too, I know. Man. It's, it's been <laughs> kind of quiet now. So they said normally when things are quiet, you know, contracts are being negotiated. So I hope that's really what's happening right now. And we ain't got to worry about this WBO stuff. Nah. Talking about, about the roach. I mean, nah. roaching. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, uh, we ain't getting it. We, I'm telling you, we not getting that fight. Look, Who yeah. Earl fighting next? My mm. third is we going to have fans fighting each other. Might have to, might have to send them there to uh, Rise Podcast and get Squeezy King. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you in this weight class, because I heard that motherfucker walk around like a two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coach, Hey, Coach Kitty told me that shit. He like, yo, Bud walk around that uh, light, hey, heavy weight. Light like, heavy. Yeah, he's breaking up all the rules, ain't he? Telling names, places, and dates and shit. <laughs> I thought he get wild, man. He look ain't like you were saying and all that, man. You giving up niggas' names now? Ain't you been calling Bud name the whole show? No, 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 no. You brought a whole person. Well, come on, yo. Ain't you been calling Bud name the whole come on, show? Yo. Come on, yo. You just you just broke you just broke man law. Ain't you been calling Bud name the whole come show? Come on out, come on out. They got us. <laughs> come on they out got they, got us. they got us ain't you been calling the whole show hey. Hey. you can't keep bud off air like hey. you can't keep bud off your lips like lipstick you can't keep bud off your lips like lipstick hey listen you can say whatever you Red want lipstick hey, you can try to change the yeah, subject I mean, you want you, you, you can call on somebody they ain't got to do enough out your mouth you know what? I'm going to tell Bud come down there and whip your ass first before mm -hmm. he whip Spence's ass. And I know he'll be on his way because he don't want to see Spence. Huh? I got him fighting I got him fighting senior before he fight Earl. Who with you the got? Who the you liking that? With the quickness. See, you, you focused on the wrong Who you liking that? The fact that it matter is boxing. Who trying you to like? fight Spence. Who you, you like? All the talk. Talk. You I like got, Bud got, and Senior. Turn your hat back around. You I got, I got right. my man Senior, yo. It, oh, what rounds? Huh? What round? Eight. Round eight? Yeah. That's eight. when he gonna get it. Hey, that's hardcore. when he gonna get eight. Hey, hardcore. Don't even worry about it. Hey, we gonna be good. All right. I got you my money. Put some little money Bud on. come down there to see me. We gonna be good. Hey, Mr. Will, who you got? <laughs> we gonna be good. We gonna be good. Hey, one way or hey, another. We gonna be good, so I ain't even worried about it. Who around he getting slapped in? Mm -hmm. You talking about hey. against Earl? He can't no, stop Uncle uh, E. He, he breaking down. Against Bud. Against, against Bud? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Do we, do we? Look. I, I'm not saying nothing negative tonight, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I already told Mr. Will I was going to call him up like I was mad at the ceiling, so you know he got his mind right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying <laughs> nothing. Hope I feel tonight. You see that face off. <laughs> Yo, no, I ain't going to post it. Hey, I, hey, no post yeah, it. Put, I was going to say, put, put that up, saying it. I want to see that myself. What's yeah. that? Hey, okay. that we, we, we did a face off. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Will almost fell out and shit. Yeah. If, if Tony <laughs> lose this fight, where that leave him? Mm. Wait a minute, you if said Tony because he ain't been active. He haven't been active. You know what? You know where it leave him? Gatekeeper. No, no. Next fight out, title shot. <laughs> That's how they doing it nowadays, man. That's Look, crazy guys losing the day, man. What are you saying next time? Up, up, up for a belt. Up mm. for a mm -mm -mm. No, but no. I just want to say this. No, it is. Um, 
it is a little emotion, a heated topic when we get to talk about Bud and Spence. And you know, we bought we all passionate about the fighters we like. Um, at the end of the day, we still gonna be family. We're gonna talk shit to each other, whatever way it go, but we still gonna be family, man. Cause you know, we know, we know, we know the truth that you know what I mean. It's okay. Sometimes, sometimes you got them tough ass family members that tuck their tail and you know what I mean. They they be bad with this person, but when you, when this person come around, they sit down. Sir, yes, sir. Ma'am, no, ma'am. You know all that. That's fine. Bug can do that. It's okay. Mm. Yeah, man. And we just here. We just here to talk about it and have fun, man. That's all. Uh, man, I ain't gonna disrespect nobody, man. The night. <laughs> Not the night, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little too late. <laughs> We're gonna keep it tender tonight. Y'all. We're gonna keep it rated B. Yes, sir. We ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> yeah, no, we all we all found it's all you know one thing about around here, one thing about the Rise Podcast, man. We positive. Now we we gotta any anything with sports when you, you talk about this team, it's gonna get heated. It's gonna be a heated debate, especially with the way that 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 things are going with the bud and and Earl Spence negotiations and the lack of fights, or however you want to look at it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, we all going to be fanning. But well, we got the right to disagree, to agree to disagree, however you want to look at it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Squeeze might be in a little denial because his man just, if, if that was my, if that was my, like, you know what? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell okay, I'm going to tell you this story. I'm going to break it down like this. Hey, Jay Hardcore, mm-hmm. Mr. Will, you know, you know, when LeBron, when Kobe first came in the league, I really didn't like Kobe. I was a LeBron fan. I liked the LeBron. But mm-hmm. you got to understand, I grew up a Jordan fan. Like, Jordan was my favorite player growing up. And I couldn't Is figure out. Is he the best at all times? Whoa, 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 let me finish this. Is he the I best at all times? No, I couldn't figure. I'm going to get to that. I couldn't figure out, like, why I like Michael Jordan. I mean, why I like LeBron. But he kept breaking my heart. Mm-hmm. Like, LeBron, when he first, he, he was breaking my heart. And I'm like. I had to look back and just realize LeBron is not the killer that I'm used to. See, I ain't have to like Kobe, but you got to respect Kobe because he was a killer. You see what I'm saying? Game on the line, he want the goddamn ball. He don't care if it's seven niggas on him. He want the ball. He's taking the last shot. No questions asked. Michael Jordan, he don't care. Game on the line, he's a killer. You said LeBron, game on the line, he's looking for the pass. He's not looking to score and win a game. You see what I'm saying? So and that's what that's what made me get away from not really liking LeBron because you got all that talent, but you just don't got that killer. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So when I look at Bud, let's, yes, you have a lot of talent. You are very talented, but it's certain things that certain that the players that I like not going to do. It was people terrified to talk trash to Michael Jordan, and when they did, they learned their lesson. And the first thing they said was, "I never talk trash to him again." Mm. But when Bud, when Bud selling selling all his death, saying he's this and he's that, and my biggest thing is Bud can fight. He's talented. My only thing about Bud is you're not getting in the ring. This is the biggest. This is the biggest fight right here at 147 to find out who's number one and who's number two between you and Earl Smith. A fight that's been in the making for a couple years now. So when you don't give it to us and you rob the fans, not once, but now we are looking at twice. And it's time. Earl told you. I'm going to go clean out my side of the street and I'm coming to snatch your shit. Point blank purr. Earl did what he said he was going to do. He went on his side of the street, snatched them nigga shit, and now he at your door. But you not trying to give us this fight for whatever reason. And we all know, we can all collectively say that that is just not a one fight. That's going to be at least two, maybe three fights, possibly. So you're going to get a payday. So that quick little couple dollars you went and got made with David Avenesia, you held up this money that you was going to make with, 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 with Earl. Because you're gonna get you gonna get at least you, that, that that's the least guarantee is two fights, no matter how it go. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so come on, man. Like that, that's the same thing, man. Yeah, Braun, he could put up all them points and all that shit, but he don't got that killer. Come on, man. All right, y'all, y'all just got the edition of the senior cub show. The rise podcast will be on after your <laughs> identification. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't know he had a segment, guys. Did y'all uh, mm-hmm. get the memo? Um, the oh, uh, that's good to know. The mom gotta come on. This is the senior carb show. That's good. You would have carried the whole conversation for hell. I get a day off tomorrow. Hey, David Schwartz, you talking to me because I ain't high yellow. I'm all Mindy. I get a, I get a day off tomorrow, right? You want to rock the show for an hour? I mean, hey. I, I'm cool with that. 
Man, they did, they all. I don't reset I what I had. I got to hang out at the gym. Get me a couple more hours. I don't reset what I had. I enjoy do. working at the desk. You know the day checking people with. You know what I mean? I don't reset what I had to say. You know, let's see if he have all that air the tomorrow night when he on here by his goddamn self. Y'all remember <laughs> that, all right? <laughs> let's see, he got all that content when he on here by his goddamn self. Um, hardcore boxing. Yes, sir. What about Boots at one fifty four versus the Charlo brother Ooh. with all the belts? If Ooh. we could get that next, give me your take on that, champ. Man, God dang, can the brother do what he need to do at forty seven? You already got him at fifty four. Come on, squeeze. Man, that motherfucker walk around almost at one eighty two. <laughs> All of them walk around around 170, 180, bruh. Yo, the cut the 147 is amazing. Yeah, I, I don't know how they do it, to be truthfully honest. But all of them be around 170, 180, you know what I mean? So uh, how they do it, I've always wondered, how in the hell do you lose 40 pounds? Damn. Mm -hmm. Smoothie King, right back at you with another one. Solomon Walker, thanks for the support to Two Piece McNugget. Y'all call him Mr. All Assets for a reason. 100. Like, I, I want to throw this out there real quick, Squeeze. Something you just said about uh, Boots and uh, and Charlo Twin. I will, before we get to that, I would rather see him, let him see Danny Garcia, both of them from Philly, just mm. for bragging rights. You know, you know what I mean? See, I don't think they would let that happen. They too close. I don't know. Hey, business first. But, you know, I don't think he would want to do that to Danny. Mm. And he, he live up, uh, he live up uh, the street from him, you know? That's the, that's the thing, y'all. Danny be sitting on the sidelines watching anybody else scrap all the time. I don't know what his uh, philosophy is either. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Hey, Mr. Will, I'm not laughing at you. These people are hilarious. David Schwartz say, Earl got a new liquor out. It's called Crash. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yo, these guys heartless, man. Und the, the internet undefeated, man. Man, yeah. I tell you, these guys is... <laughs> Yo, but I'm going to tell you, man. You know, Senior says he love a, he love a killer. They say... The word on the street, man, that's what that dude Boots is, man. They say that boy right there is a killer, man. And uh, doing sparring, and if you from out of town, they say that boy don't have no mercy, man. Now, he yeah, said, no, I, like, I like Boots. They say in town, you know, you know, he take it easy on his in town people. But if you come from out of town, they say yeah, that boy putting hands on you, man, badly, badly. But no, so. Like I like, like the uh 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 Spence Garcia idea. Mm. Huh? No, I, you know what, Mr. I, from a matchup standpoint. I mean, really. Because um I, it, it makes sense to me. Mr. To do, to Bill, do. Danny on his way out though. We'd have seen it all from what? I mean, sure, he took some L's, but what I'm saying, Danny has never been really abused in the ring. He's still pretty good. He hasn't been beat up. He's lost on points each time. Nobody's really, um, you know, wiped him out in the ring. But wouldn't that, ain't, isn't that still considered damaged? No, because of the way he lost. I mean, he's getting outpointed. He hasn't been battered. It's a difference. He was gun shy in the last couple fights. His father well, was yelling from real, the corner. You gotta let your hands go, Danny. Yeah, he, he's always economical. I keep he's hearing always. that from his dad, Danny. Yeah. You he's gotta right. let your hands go. Mm -hmm. He's always been economical. I, I just I want I don't know if I want to see him and uh, Spence do it again, to be truthfully honest, man. I mean, I really don't think it's going to be anything different. No, no, I was talking about him in boots. Hey, Akello oh, Nader. Oh, okay, I, I you agree. Akello Nader say, "Man, Earl beat Danny up." Mm. 
Yeah, he did. He did. Mr. Will say he just economic. So which one it is? I'm confused. I, I, I would say that's how he fights, man. He doesn't throw a lot of punches. He got his ass beat. He uh, he's he, saying he, he was economic. He he he's too busy looking for that no look left hook all the time. But that's Danny cool. said, Danny said right now he only won the big bucks now, so he only want to fight the big names right now. So uh, in fifty four, you got uh, mm, you got the Charlo, you got the Charlo, but I think he gonna end up going to sixty if uh, Spence come to fifty four. What you think about that fight? What's that? Danny and the Charlo brother. Why not? I I, I think Charlo gets him. Ooh, yeah, but I feel ooh. Like you know what? I, I give him a better chance at that hardcore boxing because yeah, the Charlo yeah. brother sitting there in the pocket. There floor. you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I get. Even though I got Charlo for that, but like you said, you're gonna get more of a banger out of that because, like, like you said, neither one of them really. They're right in front of you, both of them. So yeah, yeah you're gonna get. But, a, but Charlo been at fifty four for a minute. You know, Danny hasn't adjusted to fifty. No, that's yet. true. Yeah, and I mean, but, and what he where he coming from? Thirty five or forty? Forty. Yeah, man, he don't want that. But he is a big boy, even at any that forty. Yeah, he forty. Hey. He was big. <laughs> at forty seven, he, he was big. He looking real chunky right now, too. That's what I'm saying. He's a big guy. You can see that. So I, I'm like, why not? Mm. Had the E say Charlo would tear Danny up. Yeah, I got Charlo. I got Charlo brutalizing Danny. Probably. Yeah, man. Danny, my guy, but I got Charlo brutalizing that dude. Probably. Yeah, I can see that too. Mm hmm. Didn't that boy give Charlo hell? Yeah. Stano? Yeah. Yeah. Not the last time, the first time. Yeah. He adjusted after that second one. Yeah, yeah, he do he make good adjustments. Good. He make good adjustments. Yeah, yeah he made a good. Yeah, his second fights do be. I think that's the t testament to his coaching too. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's the true uh, 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 tone to his uh, uh, coaching. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want to see Charlo fight the big old tall boy that's uh, making noise in that division right now. Figueroa, Brandon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's who I want to see him fight. The yeah. entire yeah. Inferno. Yeah, yeah, I'd like yeah. to see Fendor. him fight him before he leave 54. I like to see that. I like he's calling what? him out. Fondor been calling him out. Man, yeah. Fondor right now looks like he's gonna be a problem for anybody with that that crazy reach he's got. Yeah, but but he don't fight tall though. He like the baby. No, he doesn't. He's in the pocket. He will yeah. be. Yeah. Oh, no. I think I think I think Lubin could have beat him, but he just Lubin no, got man. away from the game plan. Guess Lubin what? got away from the game plan. Guess what? Quietly, he put Lubin out of the game, man. If oh I ever God. see Lubin in the ring again, I'll be surprised. Yo, his, he, he he disfigured his whole face. Yeah, he did. Yeah, because he Lubin got him. Lubin Look got like him. Martin after Martin for Tommy Yeah, he did. Hers. He really you know, did. From Martin for Tommy Hearns. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. That boy had knots on his head everywhere. He had knots yeah. over knots. Yeah, he did. He got me serious. Yeah. No, 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 go over the hardcore boxing news. <laughs> it's describing. <laughs> That's what you're getting. Um, we you gotta keep hardcore. I like to see that though. I definitely would like to see. Yeah. But you know, I think ever since the Charlo knockout of Lubin, he never been the same. No, mm. that's what well. How many fights did he have after that, though? Three, at least three. He had three after that. Okay, yeah. that was the third one. Then yeah. I want to say he fought. He fought. He fought. He fought on tank card or on a Burrios card. Yeah, he he won that one. And then he 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 fought. Then the next time he fought was Fandora. Look, I bet now one of y'all can name. Nah, him. he had one fight before that. That was really uh, uh when he first uh. Came back after the uh, Charlo fight. Yep. It wasn't a fight that nobody knew about, if I'm not it mistaken. It was a good well fight. 
get, yeah. get, uh, get well that fight. Was, that, that was confident that was, fight to build the confidence back. Yeah, up. that was before. That was before. That was the fight before the two that I just mentioned. But I'm saying all the ones before Fundor. I bet y'all not one of y'all can name an opponent. I just told you. Who? He fought the Dominican kid on tank card. There you go, to the Dominican kid. <laughs> I don't remember his name. The Dominican. Yeah, I don't kid. know my. I don't know all my coworkers' names. <laughs> <laughs> that, when people say that, that that get me. Oh, name some of the fighters. Okay. Eskimo El Fernandez, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You know, these names are hard to pronounce. <laughs> and Mr. Will, you know you ain't talking about no names. The way you will get them skipped to the new <laughs> Rams. Yeah, Mr. Will go back to the 70s. you like, Mr. Will, what's that fighter name? JoJo Skitty Mo Williams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. He be coming up with some names. Okay. You know? okay. Have you heard of that hardcore <laughs> boxing? JoJo Skinny Mo Williams? Nah, <laughs> he I knocked that out six I pit that bulls. One. He knocked out six pit bulls in two great days back in the 60s. Oh, that's, that's, his, that's his name, just Rosario. That's that's what I'm talking about. Jay-Z the banana. The banana. <laughs> the banana, yep. <laughs> I, I, I almost forgot about it. Like Mr. Will say, get right fights. But you, but you, but you know what though? Banana showed up one night on on J Rock though. Did he ever? Oh my goodness! Then he went right back he out. Showed up that Chalo. night. Yo, Charlo hit him with a body punch and put him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that nigga was coughing up air. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck you do that, yo? Nah, he was coughing. It was up. almost yeah. like he was saying, "Take this air back." <laughs> yeah, he was coughing up dust that night. For Yo, him. it was like his carburetor had his exhaust in it and it couldn't get out. The combustion was it stopped. Was a, <laughs> it was a bad one. Yo, but I like that though. But Mr. Williams talk history. He say, do you want me to go back to 1835 with Dito Delaro uh, <laughs> Cutty Roll Mm -hmm. Uh, slit your throat, Williams. Slit <laughs> your throat. But look, but look. Ooh. In my defense, your boy does the same thing. Yo. Your boy does the same thing all the time. Who, Mr. Will? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Okay. You ever listen to Mike? Mike, yeah, Mike yeah, is did. definitely a student of the game. Yeah, yeah. he did. All right. Yeah, so he did. You know, he will throw the book right. at. All right. So I'm in good company with that one. Right? Yes, you are, yeah. Mr. Will. But I'll be wondering how. Mr. Will remember the whole name. Right. Slicky Rick Slithers. Uh, <laughs> no, no Nose Jones. <laughs> no Nose Jones. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, for that 160, he had 26 fights and he 26 knockouts. Y'all don't know boxing. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, those <no>, jokes. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, yo. Mm, mm, oh, mm. man, that's it. But it, you it know, was well. I, it was well. Mm -hmm. Time to take that label off the bottle. No, nah, I'm going to leave Whoa. mine. I like mine on there. No, no, I'm saying when well, we're doing the show, you got to take the labels off, Charlie. Oh, you got to take the label? I can't take the label. Well, yes, I can. Well, don't put it free advertisement, it. free advertisement. Yeah, yeah, oh. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, Smoothie Key, right back at you with an automotivity stop by Unks. Y'all ready for Vegas? I heard everything on you this time, seeing you dig that I knew you was the realest. Uh, uh, damn, Timmy. Everything on you. Huh. Maybe I might go then. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> you put that picture back up, but ain't that all us the whole clip? I won't say so. Oh, he must have put that up for that super chat. Oh yeah, that's the clip. Oh, that's the clip. Yo, I ain't gonna lie though. I had a ball in DC. Oh man, yeah, we I did. That was nice. That yeah. was that was nice. DC was fun. Yeah, that was nice, man. Oh, uh, like three thirty in the morning. 
great show, yo. I ain't trying to be on here till tomorrow. I, I ain't get no sleep last night. Yeah. Um, closing arguments, champ. Let me find out them office wars kept you up last night. <laughs> uh, office wars? What's that, coach? Oh, man. I was looking at that today. I ain't going to lie. What's that, office wars? <laughs> great debate. <laughs> we got we got the great debate. He got office wars. Oh, okay. I thought he was talking about one of them reality shows and shit. Mm, 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 mm. Reality you. <laughs> no nose Jones. <laughs> no nose Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all go to KenichiBand.com. Use code TRP. Excuse me, get 15% off. Make sure y'all go to www.noslihp.com. Support Young Demai and his artwork, man. He should be loading up some merch on there too pretty soon. Make sure y'all go to make sure y'all go to risepodcast.com. Get your merch, man. Make sure y'all check us out on Instagram and YouTube. Like, comment, hate, and subscribe. Run them numbers up. Make sure y'all hit the like button for this podcast, man. We come on every Monday through Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Sundays, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because YouTube hasn't been sending out the notifications. So long as y'all know what time we come on, man, just come in, hit the like button, and stay tuned for the show. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support. means a lot. Mr. Will. Keep your head greasy, it'll comb easy, and just keep watching, y'all. We got a lot of stuff coming your way. Good stuff. No Ooh. nose, Jones. <laughs> hey, man, I just want to thank you all for just allowing me to be on your platform, man. Appreciate y'all, man. And we appreciate you too, bro. Make sure y'all yeah. go check them out over there at J Hardcore Boxing News, man. Yeah, uh, make sure, um, we just stay tuned to these big fights, man. They got to sign these contracts, man. Yeah. We, we try to see these fights. I'm tired of all the damn talk, all the hype. Just get the damn ring. Like Nanito Danae said, he didn't care who they put in front. He wanted to fight. I'm sick of it. Until they get in the ring, we, we don't know who going to win. We can make all the assumptions we want. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like button and make sure y'all, uh, Tell somebody to subscribe and support this channel, man. It's y'all local channel, and you guys show love, man, so we can keep growing because we're going to have that studio coming to y'all soon. As we always say on the Rise Podcast, peace and hair grease. Smoothie King, right back at y'all with another one.